Hey guys, this is Paul coming to you with a new Let's Play. Uh, Dante's Inferno is not on hold. It just takes a bit to get get going with it. Um, especially since I can't record while I'm at school. Um, this one will probably be a little more silent than Dante's Inferno, simply because I don't screw up as much. <laughs> um, and... So I'll probably leave a lot of the series silent, quiet. Um, I chose this game. It's a really fun game. I recommend it to anyone who loves RPGs, adventure. Um, don't, uh, don't play Dragon Age 2 if you find this one a little lackluster because you will be severely disappointed. But with this game, it's a lot of tactics, not exactly regular play um you have to be smart you have to plan you have to really get going you'll and from the deep roads the dark spawn drove at us in this one i choose to make a human noble which is one of i think eight different things you could be i will have to fix myself on that one later um If you guys want me to try a different character, I will, and I will put that one up, although I probably won't show as much of it, because a, a lot of it's the same. Um, unless you guys really want me to, I can go live and create a really, really evil character, and that will be, oh, so much fun. A lot of what happens in this game is a suggestion from a friend of mine who really loves this game. Uh, he plays it a lot and it ends up becoming very interesting half the time. I believe he also played a rogue, which is why I chose to be a rogue instead of a warrior. He ch convinced me into it. Um, Next one, I'm thinking either a warrior or a mage. Not 100% sure yet. And Duncan's the badass as usual. Alright. I don't really screw much in this one. Screw up much? Screw much. Don't screw up much very often in this one, so I'll let you guys go now. Enjoy the Let's Play. I'll join back when I enter the fade and screw up royally. Uh, see you guys next. See you guys later. Bye. Greetings.
For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyaba, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Orlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown. Not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. Though we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Papa, I didn't see you there. Hal, you remember my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, lad. My daughter Delilah asked after you. Perhaps I should bring her next time. Good. She's talked about you ever since she saw you at a fair in Denerim. I think you have an admirer, young man. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. Now, that's what I'd like to hear. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away, yes? There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Coosland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. Not permanently, I fear. Without their warning of the Darkspawn rising now, half the nation could have been overrun before we'd had a chance to react. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow Wardens in the South. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor, though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? In the meantime, Find Fergus, and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Upstairs in his chambers, no doubt. Spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. Task is finished. I am done. It is over. Good evening, my lord.
Good evening, my lord. There you are. Your mother told me the town had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. No matter how the maids try to keep him out, he always finds a way in. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. I'm not willing to test that. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? Just follow the yelling. When Nan's unhappy, she makes sure everyone knows it. Bloody mutt out of the larder. But, mistress, it uh. won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves. I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way. Oh, look at that mess. How did he even get in here? It does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait, do you hear that? Wild creatures ahead. As you say, it is begun. I shall do. It shall be done. Shall be done. As you say. Serves you right. Very well. We must win. As you say. Giant rats? It's like the start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. Those were rats from the Kokari wilds. Best not to tell Nan. She's upset enough as it is. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. What? Rats? Not the large grey ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will! See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. Oh, 
I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here then, take these pork bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Thank you, my lord. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. Good evening, my lord. Hello, my dear boy. By chance, I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Uh, do we have to? History is boring. Boys, you are referring to the Kuslans, the very family in whose castle you live. Show some respect. If the mind is not exercised, it withers just as the body does. Perhaps you'd care to join me in teaching the lesson? Wonderful. Oh, the Coastland history is long indeed. Where shall we start? Well, I'm glad some of my lessons don't disappear into that yawning chasm between your ears, young man. If I were truly a skilled tutor, I suspect I would not encounter such insouciance amongst my pupils. You can look that up later. At any rate, your family has held the tourneur of High Ever since before King Kalanhad united Ferelden. In fact, Tierna Elethea Kuslan battled Kalanhad to maintain High Ever's independence. Well, the Kuslans are ardent royalists now, but at that time, Kalanhad was unknown and considered dangerous by many. When Kalanhad's army reached High Ever, Tierna Elethea led the local bands against him. Obviously, Callan had won. Callan had wished to unite Ferelden, not conquer it. After Elethea's men were defeated, Callan had asked her to swear fealty. The boulder where they held council still stands today as a memorial of that event. The history between the Kuslans and the House reaches back to the Orlesian occupation. During the rebellion against Orlais, several battles were fought near High Ever. The port village of Harper's Ford was the Turnier's center. Its arrow was Tarleton Howe. Though nearly 90, he was still as sharp and bitter as cheap ale. Your grandfather openly supported the rebellion, but how sided with Orlais? Your family was forced to seize Harper's Ford before it was all over. The Howes eventually joined the rebellion, when all of Ferelden united behind King Merrick and General Loghain. Just as now we united behind Merrick's son, King Caelan, to fight the Darkspawn. Records are vague, but the Kuslans became Tierns during the Black Age. Is that familiar, child? Good. I'm pleased some of my lessons seem to have stuck. At that time, your family held only the minor title of Ban. When the werewolves reached this area, Ban Mather Kusland organized a curfew and patrols within the city. Several other local bands supported his efforts by swearing oaths of fealty making him their turn. Thank you for indulging an old man. Oh, does that mean we have to listen to you now? Silence. I will not have you two becoming smart-mouthed hooligans. But perhaps you should go. I doubt they need any more distraction. 
I'm just going to settle in here and apparently just talk to myself for all the good I'm doing. Just doing that for myself all this one evening.